this is Lisa from This Little Piggy Plans, and today is Wednesday, March 7th, and yeah, you can, you can see how well I've done with my planning this week so far. Um, I did last night actually go and fill out everything that happened last week, so that is my completed spread from the last video, and I absolutely love how it turned out. Um, yeah, love the colors, lots of exciting things going on right now. So yeah, this potty accidents, none, 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 none. That was exciting. So I don't really think we've got to track potty accidents anymore, but yeah. So I finally actually like this was blank yesterday as you had seen it last in the video. Yeah. There's been stuff going on. I've been busy, so <laughs> all good stuff, but so, yeah, needless to say, we're at the point where I should be posting my midweek, and yeah, this is my midweek, so I'm not really doing so well. But, okay, we're going to do this anyway, because I am going to plan, and yeah, I don't like having a blank week, so I'm going to get some stickers laid down in here before it really does end up being a blank week. So... I did a swap with Emily from Sweet Fox Papery, and so one of the kits that I picked up from her was this um, Love Blossoms kit, and I have never, this is my first um, order from Emily's shop from Sweet Fox Papery, so um, we did a swap. I contributed to her um, special birthday box that is happening soon for, I think, her shop anniversary. I want to say maybe three years for her shop maybe two three I don't know um, yeah so we've got stickers that are going in that box and so I got a couple of kits in exchange and so this is one that I picked up and um, I thought that this this would be a pretty one to use this week and I wanted to step outside of my comfort zone and try a new shop something that I'm not familiar with at all so um, this is so pretty. So let me just do a flip through of the sheets for you guys first. So the kit is called Love Blossoms and you can see there's flowers everywhere and I always think that it's funny because I'm not like really a floral person but then I put the pigs with all the flowers and I absolutely love how it always turns out. So I just I saw this and I thought the piggies are gonna look so cute with this. Um, and so I just, and then I love this, this box that I'm going to put in the corner, let your dreams blossom. So I thought that with all of this stuff I have going on in my fluty life right now, um, you know, I don't really want to talk about it, but I will say that I have an on-campus interview for a job at a school that I would really really love to teach at. So that is happening a couple of weeks from now and I'm really excited and nervous and feeling all of the feelings that are typical to feel when one encounters a potentially life-changing moment. So um, yeah, so I just, I picked this kit for this week because of all the stuff that's going on in my flute life right now and I just thought that the one that says, I mean, the only one that says anything, it says, let your dreams blossom. And I just thought that that would be great to use for this week. Plus, purple is my favorite color, and there's lots of pinky purpley things in this kit. So those are her full box checklists. And then we've got the washi sheet. So, and this appears to be, I don't, I don't know if it's like a, it's not like a glossy, so it might be like a matte glossy so I'm not really sure yet like what kind of pen I'm gonna have to check my pens I I took my pilot g2 um and also my permanent um sharpie marker as well just in case I needed to use a permanent marker so um so this is the these are the washi strips for the bottom and then the the little washi strips to fill in and then some of the sidebar items over here and half boxes and quarter boxes and 
and then all the headers and this hello weekend is so beautiful over there so yeah and then she's got these cute little like hexagon just for the icons so yeah this is just really really pretty I love how she has a box where the heading is sparks joy um it makes me wonder if she has read the Con Marie book, um, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, because I love that book, and um, yeah, I, I say sparks joy quite often as I am going through items to determine what I love and want to keep and what does not currently spark joy for me. So I just, this is the only kit that I have ever seen um, that has that kind of header so but that was really cool so yeah so let's get to work um now probably what i should have done i don't think that she has the numbers for the dates i think i kept i want to see i think i have my creating and code numbers in the pocket in the back here so let me see if i do I do. Okay, good. So I'm going to pull those out to use. Um, because obviously I didn't like think ahead to grab the date numbers before I started. Um, and I don't have any from Emily's shop. So we will use creating co ones because I think these will look really nice. Um, let's see. I want to use the plain black or maybe the plain black or the white. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Alright, I am going to start though, so I'm going to use, I'm going to pull that sheet to use first, and I'm going to actually get these bottom washi strips and get those put down first. So yeah, so this is going to be, this is going to be an interesting one because I have never used one of Emily's kits before, so I have like no idea, you know, like with with both the kits from Creating and Co. and Sweet Kawaii Design. Like, I, I've used them before, so I kind of know a little bit how I like to do things. But, you know, like, I don't even know what kind of pen works on her stickers. So, yeah. So, but it's a really, really nice quality paper. That looks really pretty already. Like, even just putting down that one strip. See, now I, I at least feel a little bit better that I have some thing stuck in my planner for this week so it's not totally blank anymore so that looks so much better okay um yeah I mean I don't know how I want to do it again I guess the next thing is gonna be the dates up at the top uh -oh. um, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with the <laughs> these are super pretty and unlike anything I have seen from any other shop so far alright so do I want to use let's see how is this kind of number going to use look I think it'll look nice do you guys think that or the black. The black looks kind of nice too. Everything else is not bad. I'm going to use the solid black. Let's go with the solid black. Although I think they'll both look good. Um, yeah. So I guess we'll do it. I want to do it there. Do I want to do it in the middle? Do I want to do it under? Did I do it over there? Maybe we'll do it under. Like just right. There's so many possibilities of where you could put like the number. So I don't know. I don't feel like it under there or if I want to do it in the middle. Maybe we'll do it in the middle. I don't know. Eh, middle's good. Alright. And then So it's gonna look totally different from what my um, my regular weeks look like. 
like something, mixing it up a little bit. I don't know. These are so beautiful though. Okay. And then before I lay Sunday down over there, I'm gonna need to see if she includes um, little flaggy things to cover those or not. But I also, like, I checked to make sure that, like, the colors of this kit, you know, it has some green in it, so I thought that, I thought it would look really good, actually. So, if I don't have something to cover it up, I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, so let me see. Before I lay Sunday down, there are no flags on that sheet. Boxes, boxes. No? Okay, and I'm totally cool with that. Um, I just wanted to check because usually I get through I get through laying down Sunday and then I'm like, oh shoot, I had a sticker to put there and then I've got to lift up Sunday. So yeah, I'm on it this week. You know, midweek, planning late, but you know, it's okay. All right. So it is currently snowing here um, where we are on Long Island and oh my gosh, I think we're supposed to get now um, six to, all right, so, hmm. well, I'm going to have to cover, all right, I'm going to keep this consistent over here. Usually. I'm not going to worry about it. Maybe, I think what I'll do actually, because now, all right, I'm serious. Like, I wish that Erin Condren could have just, like, put the year under the month. I don't have those fancy, like, whiteout things that, that Tasia uses to, like, cover that whole area so that her stickers, because you guys see what's going on, is when you use the date covers, like, I'm covering up half of this 2018 over here. So... I think what I'll do is try to maybe use some of these decorative stickers to just finish covering up these numbers over here so that it doesn't look all weird. And then I'll just have it, it'll just say March. And I don't, I don't need it to say 2018. I mean, like, I know it's 2018. It could just say that, like, you know, in the beginning of the planner and that'll be fine. All right, so I am looking for the fifth. Yeah, so I don't know why she did that in this planner. I mean, I you know, if you don't use date covers, it's not going to be a problem. But, I mean, a lot of people use kits these days, and pretty much all the kits come with some kind of date cover option. So, yeah. So that is one thing that I wish, you know, could be different about this particular planner. Um, I'm getting used to it though, like not having the headers. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, this is looking beautiful so far. Get this, like, I'm not a flowery person, but let me just get, it looks really pretty. I think because we're like, oh, I've got like fuzzies everywhere. Um, I think because we are approaching, so you know, I need to kind of cover the rest of that Wednesday there too. Most of Wednesday, like there's a little bit of the Y sticking out, but it actually almost looks like just part of the flower branch. So I think that'll work. Um, I lost track of what I was saying, but you know, it is the tail end of winter. I mean, you wouldn't know it from being outside in the snow right now. We're I think like six to nine inches is what we are expected to get today so um yeah i'm going to wait on placing my hello weekend banner down until i figure out you know how i'm going to decorate over over there but the one thing i definitely know 
that I want to put this quote sticker up at the top in this corner box. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So yeah, I have no idea if these stickers are removable or not. Um, I don't, I don't really think they are. I mean, like probably, like if you lifted them up pretty soon, you could remove them. But I am, I'm trying to just put things down where I want them the first time. Oh my guys, look how pretty that looks already. So let's see, where are those decorative stickers? What could I put up over there? That wouldn't look too weird. This one probably. Maybe. Maybe just a little small one. Let's see. I'm not gonna like lay it down here. No. I mean that would cover it, but I don't know that that looks the best. Maybe just a couple smaller ones. Um, maybe this one actually. That doesn't. And then I could put like another flower on top of it. Let's see if I can place that somewhere. I could kind of put it. Oh, that actually would work pretty well. That'll work because then you at least can't see the numbers. And then I'm just gonna. I'll either trim that or is it gonna look really weird? look too weird just folding it over the top there you can barely see it all right sweet so I managed to cover that 2018 up with that one sticker there and so I think that that actually probably was the best choice um, because it blends in the best there and it's not like too obvious that it doesn't exactly match everything else okay so let's see I need to let's see I've got she's got a couple of weekly trackers and habit trackers and stuff to choose from so let's see I think I like the idea of using this um, so yeah, I just, I'm not really, I'm not familiar at all with, with Emily's kits, so I'm just trying to figure out, like, what kind of header I want to put above these weekly uh, sidebar stickers here. So, like, does she have, she does, she's got this week, so I could use one that says this week. Um, and then there's also one that says goals. I don't tend to use the ones that say goals, so I'll probably just um, maybe one that says this week, and then maybe maybe another one I could write, um, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. I'm gonna do. Alright, well what I usually do, see, I don't feel like I need to track potty accidents anymore because he hasn't had any and yeah all right so that looks really pretty and then um all right so I've got a choice of two full box things and also two just a little habit trackers there. Normally I would use one for my workouts um, maybe what I'll do then is okay I'm gonna use this up here and I'm using the other one lately to track my flute practice, although that's pretty much a given right now with what I have going on, that that is happening um, on a daily basis. But, so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to use probably the top one 
for like my workouts and then I'm not sure what I want to put in the other one but I kind of want to use it I mean I can't really use it anywhere but the sidebar um, what do I want to do I'm stuck. I don't want to be stuck. I don't generally... I mean, I could just do... I could do one for dinners. I could do that. Or I could put, like... I could maybe try some goals. Do I want to have goals? Maybe for my flute practice, have some goals. I have some goals for my memory stuff. I don't know what I want to do, guys. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this, but I just have to figure out. I'm gonna use that one, and I'm gonna use this one. So then the question is, do I want to have these be like for the same purpose, or just track something here? Um. Oh, I've also been tracking. I've been trying to track my sleep as well. So I could have, um, I'm gonna put something like under, no, no. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this one all the way at the bottom. Like that, and I'm gonna see if I can figure. Maybe I'll use some washi strips to go like in between the things here. I just want to see like what headers I want to put. Like this one, I'm, I know I want this to be for my flute practice, but like, do I want like dinners in between? I guess, let's just do it. Let's just do dinners. Or I could do next week. There's a next week sticker too. Um, nah, I never use the next week one. All right, we'll just do dinners. That's what we'll do. Um, I don't need a daily thing for that because it's pretty much a given that I will eat dinner every day. Um, of course, I didn't quite line this up with... Oh, see, look at that. They are somewhat removable. So, how easy does this come up? Just because I didn't have it over as much to the left as the other stickers I had laid down already. So, I need to that way. Alright. Okay, that'll work. There. Alright, so dinners. So that's pretty pretty. And then I'll probably just do where are those washi strips? Here they are. Right, so that's what I'll do. I'm just going to surround this box with some washi strips. So, question is which one? I could do this one. Kind of blends in right here. Yeah, that one looks perfect. And then I might just layer it because I kind of want another one behind it. Perfect. All right. And that might be off camera, so I'm going to lay this down and then I'm going to scoot it up for you guys to see. All right. So maybe that was on camera. Okay. So that looks really pretty so far. All right. Um... Yeah, so now let's see. I'm going to scroll up. I have no idea how this pen is going to work on this paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it out on, you know, obviously not on a sticker. So we'll see. Like, is that going to smudge? I think this actually, that works really well. Sweet. All right. Yay, no smudges. All right, so, just so you guys know, the Pilot G2 will write on Sweet Fox Papery 
sticker paper. So, okay. So, look out. This one will be the track over there. And then this one over here is going to be root practice. All right. So that's what I'm tracking. And then I'll just jot down, like, whatever I eat for dinner. All right. Now... Now we have to do some back planning. So now I have to think, what did I do this week? I know what I did Monday. I was at school the entire day on Monday. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, how many do I have? I hope seven, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my today hatters. Sounds like a lunge lake. Did he wake up happy? Oh, <laughs> someone just woke up. So I'll probably take a break from my video in a minute, but Bryce is home. So Bryce is going to go give on a snack. While I work on this video. This is beautiful. This like I always you know, I've been getting the um like the Planner Society subscription also and I mean I'm probably I think I'm gonna stop getting that one just because it is pretty expensive and like I haven't even had a chance to open like now the last three boxes. Um, but, um, I did see a sneak peek of swans that are coming in this kit, so I kind of don't want to cancel it, at least until after the swans, but, um, but yeah, I mean, like, like, all of Christie's kits are really florally, too, and it, it always surprises me, because I'm like, I don't like florals, like, I'm not a floral person, and then I go and I use the stuff, and I'm just like, it's so so pretty so yeah I don't, I don't know this one just you know with the purples and then you know as I said like the pigs just the pigs just look cute with flowers all right now wait do I want to use yeah I'll just keep the today up at the top for the weekend too and I'll I'll find another place to put like hello weekends like I don't know I don't know exactly where I want to put it. Guys, I... Ah! That one's all crooked. I feel like, you know, I said it's snowing out today, and I feel like with, like, my fuzzy, like, Sherpa hoodie thing, I feel like I kind of am snow. Like, I dressed like the snow today, so I don't know. All right, so that looks really, really pretty. Like, really pretty. Okay, um, now... Okay, I'm just thinking. I know what I want to do. All right, those are my washi strips. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do a little back planning because, I mean, come on, it's Wednesday. And, yeah, we're just going to start with what I did. Obviously, I didn't plan at all until today. So we'll use him today. But Monday, I was at school all day. Like, all right. Now, so I really, I can use, I can use one of these really pretty full boxes at some point on Monday. Um, probably, probably like this one goes really nicely, but I don't want to put that like right under there. Maybe I'll put it like at the bottom. All right out how I want to see this is like what I mean like do I, I don't I don't know anymore like do I start at the bottom and go up do I start at you know because before there were the headers and there's no headers anymore um or how about I just do this here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pick do I want to mix it I'll do a solid solid purple guy would look really pretty 
All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, I actually went really early to school, usually on Mondays. I am always, I'm always at my college, but not usually until the afternoons. And this week I was in from early in the morning. So I had a full, a full day over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, I hear the snow plow <laughs> going by outside. Like I'm all the way in the basement. That's how loud these things are. Like I'm all the way in the basement and I hear the snow plow. All right, all right. So he looks that's really cute there. Um, so I'm just gonna write that I had. And my schedule was, I actually went early to practice, so. My schedule was 10 until like 5.30, like I was there like, I was there all day. And I, I practiced first beforehand and then I practiced after um, because I've got my job interview coming up and yeah, lots going on. And then how do I want to decorate this? I think, let me go grab this full box. Um, I'm trying to think what was, oh, I know what we did on Monday. That's actually, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Instead of watching The Bachelor on Monday and talking, and I was talking, I was waiting for, for my friend to call. Um, yeah, and I've never in my life seen The Bachelor, <laughs> so, um, and then I, I totally got sucked in. It was like the finale of The Bachelor, and it was like three hours long, and then they extended it to like last night too, for like another hour or two hours or something, so it was like this like five hour like Bachelor finale, um, Anyway, so, um, yeah, I, I had, I've never watched it. Like, I, I'm not really very into reality television. Um, you know, I'd much rather watch crime shows. Like, if I'm going to sit and watch TV, like, I'd rather either just, like, watch, like, YouTube videos or just watch um, Criminal Minds, or, I mean, I love This Is Us. I didn't get to watch it last night because Owen didn't go to bed on time, so don't tell me what happens <laughs> because I'm gonna have to, I think it was the finale of This Is Us also, so hopefully tonight I'll catch up on that. Um, but, so, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out, um, where I want to put this box over here, but yeah, so, so that was, so anyway, so I'm not, I never watch that show, like, I'm, and I don't really watch a lot of reality TV, so, I mean, if there's absolutely nothing on, and I just, like, I'm knitting or something, and just want to have it on in the background, um, you know, then, then maybe I'll turn something on, but anyway, so I have never, like, The Bachelor's been on for, like, a really long time, I don't know, so did you guys see it, like, I guess Ari like was torn between Lauren and Becca and like was said he was in love with both of them and then um I mean I don't want to spoil it for anyone that didn't see it but I mean it's like it's aired already and yeah so anyway like so I saw this is you know I never saw any of the build-up to anything but so he ended up like breaking the one girl's heart and you know proposing to to Becca but he didn't like he still was unsure of his feelings so it's like all this controversy and you know so like basically he proposed to her and he didn't really like have his feelings sorted out so that was not cool and so he got engaged to Becca who you know then got blindsided because then he like broke off the engagement on national television and 
went back to Lauren and, and then like yesterday he proposed to Lauren. So it was like, I don't know. I just got sucked in. So, so like I had had this long day of teaching and I was waiting for my friends to call and I got sucked into the bachelor. So yeah. So I'm going to look at this. Like I never use these icon stickers, but all right. I'm actually trying to put this on here first. Um, I mean, I'm imagining that this is where you stick these. So I'm kind of embarrassed that I'm going to write that I watched The Bachelor. That's really cool. Like, I never use these hexagon things. So that's how you could use them. Look at that. All right. Um, so I had dinner. And basically I did that. And then I don't even remember, like, what else happened. I talked to my friend. Right. So I'm going to lay this down, I guess, at the bottom. Like that. And I guess I'll just put this. I don't even know where I want to put this. I mean, what other headers does she have? I mean, it wasn't really like a to do. I don't know if it sparked joy watching The Bachelor. I mean, did that spark joy? Not really. I mean, I just kind of got sucked in. So, I don't know. I'm just like a washi shirt. Because really, all I did was like drive home. But I don't, I don't know. Where do I want to put this? I mean, it was on at night. And I can't even remember, like, what else I did. So I'm going to put that down there. And then I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do this. I didn't plan. I didn't try to wash a strip. Let's just, like, cover and extend maybe the height of the box. Uh... Would that work? I'll just like a little bit of a bigger one. Maybe this one here. All right. Kind of works ish. So I don't really know what I want to put there. I might go back and fill some stuff in off camera because I didn't bring all my stickers over here. Um, I have my popcorn and movie stickers. Guys, this video is a mess. Are you guys surprised? All right, I'm just going to write <laughs> The Bachelor finale. Okay, and I should get my I should get my popcorn and a movie stickers. Okay. So, I guess we'll just we'll just use him. So it looks super cute. Um, perfect. All right, and then yesterday, all right. So yesterday, I did kind of the same thing. I taught, taught the flutey flute lessons. I had three students, so I think I have like this perfect little checklist that matches up there, like a half checklist. So. Um, basically, you guys are going to be seeing a lot of flute stickers for this week and for next week, too, because, um, and probably the following, this week and, like, the next two weeks until my interview, um, because I'm just, I have a lot of added flute stuff going on. Um, like, even over the weekends, like, even outside of my personal preparation, like, the, the Long Island Flute Club has been, like, having all of their springtime activities. Like, last Sunday, um, one of my students played in their student recital. And then this Sunday coming up is the Long Island Flute Co competition for the high school kids. And I'm judging the final round of that with a couple of other people. So, uh, that's going to be going on. Ink. Trying to see. I think I'm gonna put this. I kind of want to put it here, and then I'm just gonna figure out like, um, maybe this one would look pretty. I do like. Oh, and actually, that kind of fits really well. All right. 
feels pretty good. So I'm just gonna put like, but it, that's like too close to that. So that looks really pretty. Okay, down there. Um, after my lessons, I ran a couple of errands yesterday. Um, actually, before my lessons, I went to the post office. Maybe I'll use another one of these. Um, uh, flaggy thing. I don't know. This looks like totally different <laughs> from like my normal kind of planning. Um, Alright, so post office and I went to Staples and I went to the credit union and probably um, and, alright, and I had a smoothie. I just had tropical smoothie for dinner last night. Because I wasn't very hungry. Um, and then Monday night, I had, I just had leftovers. Is that what I had Monday night? I think it was leftovers. Alright, I'm just trying to, like, fill in. I did not work out at all yet this week. Kind of O for O on that. Alright. Yeah. Um, how do I want to do this? See, that's probably what I should have done. But now I can't do that. Probably should have just placed the box up higher and then since I was covering, like, I didn't need to... I messed that up over here. I probably can't things are under. I'd rather put that like maybe on the bottom so it's less noticeable. Give me like, say I'm like gonna try not to like rip up my stickers and then that's like one of the first things that I do. So actually that's coming up really well. Alright so I'm going to do that instead. I'm going to place this just a little higher right here. And then probably have to use like a slightly thicker. Oh no, that'll work just fine. Okay. Um, I'm gonna place that down there. Okay. Now that's a little better because now there's not like a random like line over there. Alright, so now I'm going to do this box over here. And then... Um, Alright. I don't really want to use an icon. So do I want to use... Let's see which one I want to use. Like I never use my little piggy banks, but he could be super cute. I mean, I do always put a lot of pigs, but I like this guy too. But, or I could, that's what I could do too, is I could like cover up Union and I could write Union underneath. Actually, I'm gonna do that, I think, because, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I need to remember to like place my stickers sometimes before I do my writing. Okay. And then last night <laughs> I watched more of The Bachelor. Um, it was gonna be This Is Us, but now I'm gonna have to watch that tonight. So. Um, let's see, what are those washi strips over here? Um, I just need like a really, I don't need one that's very thick. I'm just gonna 
grab another uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna put something over this split right there. Um, I guess we could like kind of do like the same the same one. I feel out of my comfort zone. I really like I love how this looks so far. I have never used like this many of my TV stickers at at one at one point. Now of course I don't have another TV icon. So, hmm. I mean, I, I would guess that probably that is something that she sells separately in her shop. I mean, I don't really know. There's this like computer monitor that kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to put. I did watch some YouTube too. I don't know. I just won't put an icon, but I'll just write. Continued. All right. So guys, that's where I'm at right now. I, as I said, I'm about to get interrupted here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause my video and I will continue this later this evening and fill out today's snow day. And I'll try to like grab a couple stickers from my stash now that I kind of have an idea of maybe what I'm doing the rest of the week. Um, yeah, but I really think that this looks really pretty so far and I will see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, I am back. Okay, so let's pick up where I left off. I, um, had a few hours of a break just now, um, and so I did a few things and I pulled, uh, some other stickers that I thought I was going to use. So, actually, first of all, I want to, I thought, especially in case I don't work, <laughs> work out this week, that I should go ahead and put one of these stickers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think, put this guy, because he looks kind of happy to potentially work out. Um, so, I think I'm gonna... I'm going to go ahead and put that little guy there. Um, and then, all right, today, basically, I spent the morning practicing. And it is a snow day, so I think I am going to go ahead and take... so. All right, guys, this, I don't know which video is going to go up, our new release video, or this uh, plan with me, but this next sticker is from our new releases that are about to be listed in the shop. So we have a bunch of weather icons coming out, and today is a snow day, so I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these clouds. Um, I'm just going to figure out kind of like, I'm not really sure like what I want to put it on. So I don't know, like it could look, it could look cute in there. Um, it could look cute maybe in a half box. So let's see the half boxes um or maybe even just like I could even just stick it like kind of up here at the top so that's that's an option so I'm just kind of trying to sort out oh my gosh like what I want to do I could do like a I could do like a little icon a label at the top there and put snow day I don't think I like that as much um, so, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, you guys can't answer me. 
see. I could, I could potentially do like one of these half box things and say that we had a snow day today with like, I don't know, we have six to nine inches predicted. So, you know what I'm gonna do is, I might, maybe I should work up from the bottom. So for sure, I am planning today. So I'm gonna wanna use, um, I'm gonna wanna use a planner sticker. I practiced this morning. Um, so I need to mark that, you know, I've, I'm doing that and I'm going to practice again some more, um, after I finish filming this video. Um, and let's see, oh my gosh, you guys, so I pulled out, like, I know I'm going to be drinking a lot of caffeine and I just thought how cute would, <laughs> would our caffeine buzz guys look with all these flowers so I think this is going to be like a really fun one to use in the spring. Um, so I'll probably, I don't think I'll put him down today. I'll probably use him like in the second half of the week. Um, so the kind of what I want to do since today is the evening and we're on the evening of the 7th, I want to go ahead and fill in everything that's been going on today and like kind of what I project to do this evening um, so that I have a complete like midweek spread that I can post later on tonight. And then I'm going to just kind of pre-plan a couple things that I know I have in my schedule. Got a whole bunch of to-dos and basically half boxes. So half boxes and checklists, I think, is where it's going to be at today. Um, so I think since I used the light purple checklists yesterday, I will use a dark one for today. And so let's go ahead and see what, oh, you know what? I could pretend that I pre-planned because I did have to cancel a lesson today because of the snow. Or I could like reschedule, because we actually rescheduled it. So I could use one of those labels. Um, so I could kind of like pretend that I had planned ahead of time or I could just make it look pretty. So um, maybe I don't have a checklist like all the way at the top yet, but I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and like put it here again to kind of match the other one. So I think I'm gonna figure out um, which half box I want to use. Uh, so do I want to do another scallop or do I want to go with a straight edge box and mix it up a little bit? Um, there we go. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one because it matches the header really well. Like, I can't believe I'm not a flower person because this is really so pretty. I know I keep saying that, but I mean, it's true. I don't know. Sometimes you just need to like see things in person also, I think. So what I really need for today is um, a filming sticker. Yeah, and Bryce is supposed to design me one. I never ordered them before because I <laughs> never did videos before. So this is this is a very, very new thing for me. So, um, all right, let's go to my flutes. So basically, I did a lot of videos. Where's my pen? Here's my pen. Um, that's not the right pen, this pen. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna, actually, I can't write like that because of the coil. Flip it like this. Alright. So, I think I'm gonna write, um, I should have gone to the post office. So I think I will use the canceled. And then Emily at 245. 
And then what I'm gonna do, since I'm practiced anyway, is I'm gonna stick my foot. I told you, you guys are gonna get sick of seeing this foot sticker, but like, he just needs to be in my planner right now, so. Um, Alright, and then we are going to get the, I don't know, canceled or rescheduled. I mean, we did reschedule it, so I guess I'll use rescheduled. And, um, just put that maybe. Because, and now maybe I use my snow guy here. Let's see, or do I want to use him just at the top? I might snow day. Um, so, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just stick him here. And I'm just going to put six to nine inches snow. Okay. So that almost looks like I kind of pre-planned <laughs> what I was supposed to do, um, and didn't. So, all right. So then instead, and then I got some shop stuff, which was doing some YouTube videos. So, um, film YouTube. Um, Plan with me and new releases. So I can check these off. Um, I'm gonna prep an arrow for that to go to tomorrow. Okay, now I don't really want to put another checklist, so I think. I'm going to do some of my Owen stuff now. Um, so I'm going to figure out, we did bath and puzzles tonight. Um, wait, I should actually use my planner piggy here before I get into Owen stuff. So, um, <laughs> And... Okay. Where are my half boxes? Here they are. Okay, so another little half box, but I think I might use like a little washi strip in between first. Um, and this one over here. I did have to do quite a bit of planning type stuff. I'm gonna use this one. I think it's really pretty. In there. Yeah. Yeah. Bryce just went out to shovel, so he deserves like his own little little planner with uh so he can use shovel snow oinkers i'm not going to use him because he doesn't match the colors of this red like i totally plan around my colors so um so i'm gonna have to um i want to post midweek when i'm done with this because I'll have it okay what did I have for dinner tonight I had pasta just now and I don't know if I'm gonna work out tonight or not I'm guessing that I'm not going to but I'm not gonna like go ahead and call it lost just yet um, okay so now I'm gonna do bath time and I might 
can use either just an icon this week because as cute as he would look, I do have quite a bit of pigs already on this page. So I could, I kind of like the bubble bath one um, rather than the ducks. And I do want to use puzzle pig because I haven't gotten to use him yet. So I want to use him. Um, all right. I'm going to do bath. with Owen. So maybe, know, do I want to do like a, another half box? Do I want to do like a little, I can use him. He, that little flag would be kind of cute. Um, or I could just do like hang out with Owen. So, I'm sorry if this is really boring. I feel like it's at least pretty to look out, but like, I'm not really sure. Like, it's so hard. Like, I can't really, I can't really talk about, well, I guess I can a little bit. I can't give like details of where I am interviewing in a couple weeks, but I mean, I could tell you like the kind of stuff that I have to do to get ready for it. Um, so for those who don't know, I am a professional flutist and I was, I was working professionally performing and teaching in Florida, um, for like almost a decade, um, in between, um, finishing, well, after I got my master's, I got like a performance diploma, which is like a certificate, which, you know, was like a two year program. And then I, I went and I, I was performing with orchestras in Florida and teaching at adjunct at a local college down there, um, which, and I fell in love with it. And so then I decided, well, now that I know how much I love teaching, I'm going to want to get a full-time job teaching, which is going to require me to go back to school and get my doctorate because like you can, these days you can sometimes get away with not having a doctorate, but so many people have them that it is definitely not necessarily to your advantage not to go back and get one. So I'm like doing all these like negative things here, but it, you know, it can work in your favor to have one. Um, you can get by if you have like an exceptional amount of performance experience, um, which I mean, I have a good amount of, but I mean, I'm talking like world-class level like performance experience like you it has to be like that quality for them to really kind of overlook the fact that you didn't get your doctorate so so I left my my work in Florida to go back to school and so um and I did my coursework and I was the TA at Stony Brook and here on Long Island and I got um do I want to use one of these? No, I want to use more half boxes. Um, and so I got my coursework finished and then I had Owen in between like doing the academic stuff and finishing my doctorate. So, um, you know, I completed my doctorate two years ago and I have been searching ever since for a full-time position. Um, I think I might use another little like half checklist too. Sorry, I'm like trying to figure out kind of exactly how I want to do this. So I'm gonna have like this box is gonna be for like what I want to accomplish this evening with stuff, and then I'm just gonna have um, what am I gonna have? Could be kind of like I don't like white. You guys know I don't like white space, um, but I can do like. maybe this and some decorative washi in between maybe that's what i'll do um that's what i'm gonna do I'm just gonna like think, figure out how i want to fill this out i'm gonna leave like a tiny bit of white space here um i think that's okay and i think puzzle time and bath just write like 
bathroom has those. Um, yeah, so, so I have been applying to university positions and for a flutist, there's not a lot of openings a year. So, I mean, like last year there were like four openings in the whole country and this year like I've applied to like seven of like only eight or nine openings and I'm saying like I didn't apply to whatever like there were a couple that like I just didn't fit the position like perfectly to apply for it so um yeah so I'm actually so now I am a finalist so I had to do like a phone interview um in the middle of January um so I'm guessing that at that point they had it narrowed down to like maybe between like eight and ten people I'm just I'm guessing and I know that I am one of three finalists for the position so I will be visiting the campus of the school um, in like two and a half weeks so I am busy prepping for that I have to teach a master class which is like teaching flute lessons in front of an audience and I have to perform a 30 minute recital and then I have to like do a woodwind quintet reading and I have to meet with like the search committee and the flute students and like a few different like really important people at the school like president of the school president of you know like basically the head of the music school the boss of the head of the music school and like the boss of like the whole school so <laughs> like I have all that stuff to do so um I'm going to do some more practice tonight um, to get ready for that. And I want to do, um, I want to just do a little research on, um, on the people that I will be meeting with at the school so that, you know, I, I know at least to some extent who I will be talking to. Um, when I go to the school, so I'm going to just, you know, just gonna try to be as prepared as I can. I mean, my phone interview kind of, I think was good. Obviously that was good preparation. I have a feeling that, you know, they're going to ask me similar questions to, you know, what I have already answered. Um, in the phone interview, but, you know, it'll be different people probably asking them, like, instead of the search committee, it's probably going to be, like, the, um, academic official people that I am meeting with on that end of the questions, um, so that's the part I'm most nervous about, because I'm really shy, and I, you know, when I want something really bad, like, I can be really enthusiastic, but I'm just, I, I can be really shy, so, like, I'm going to have to really put my big girl pants on for this and um just sorry we can't talk right at the same time guys we have a midweek look at that um so this is my midweek so I just filled in you know like kind of what I did we had a snow this evening um when I'm done filming this video I'm going to do some more practice I'm going to do a little research and then I'm going to edit some of the videos that I filmed today so that I can get them up on YouTube tomorrow. Um, yeah, so, you know, the, the interview, but I need to, you know, I want to figure out also, like, what kinds of questions I have for, for these people that I'm going to be meeting with and try to figure out, like, which questions are going to be appropriate for like which people uh, you know that I'm going to be meeting with so um you know like one person that I'm meeting with is probably better suited to answer like a specific question than you know maybe somebody else's so you know I just I just have a lot of prep to do I have never I've never done this before I mean I've I've met with people you know and had kind of I, I mean I've had to interview for different jobs over the years and I've had to meet with with people for um 
for these, you know, the jobs, like my adjunct positions that I've had, but honestly, like those have been pretty informal. Like this, this is like the most serious interview process I have ever participated in. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really, really excited, really hopeful. And <laughs> just, I just have a lot going on. And last thing I will say about it is that um, I really want this job. It would, it would change our lives in the best possible way. Um, yeah. And we would obviously still be able to continue with the piggies and we would be much more comfortable and happy. And yeah, this, this would be like a game changer for us as a family. So yeah. All right. So, all right. So what's going on for the rest of the week is, of course, more flute lessons. Now, the end of my week is looking a bit different. Usually, I go to the college on Fridays and teach pretty much the whole day, like between, between my students at the college and then my private students at night. But I actually have a really, really free schedule on Friday. I just have one of my two private students. Um, the other girl I was supposed to teach today, but now we have had to reschedule it once again because of today's weather. Um, so maybe I'm trying to see kind of with my full boxes, how I want to like plan this out for the rest of the week. Cause we've got four days and I have four full boxes. So, um, I think maybe I'm just trying to think like where this one maybe would look best on s Sunday, maybe? I don't know, like, I have such a hard time. I kind of want to, like, just figure out where to put those. This one's not my favorite of <laughs> the full boxes. Like, uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't really have to use it, but then I won't, like, use it another time. I'll just layer stuff on top of it to take away from the fact, like, all right, that's what I'll do. Okay, so... I know where I'll put that one. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside for a second. I'm going to start with like <laughs> Sunday, um, Sunday afternoon. I'm going to layer that on top of there because I kind of don't, I'm not crazy about that box. Um, and I guess I could also use this. Yeah, that matches that one. All right. So on Sunday, I have, of course, some flute events and now a lesson to teach. So I know I want to layer that. And then I also, at some point, oh, thank goodness, Bryce actually doesn't have his church job this Sunday morning. So, all right. Here, I... I've not been using my to-do boxes, so I am not going to break that trend of not using them. And then I've got these little washi strips. All right, I'm going to pull these aside. Uh, that actually looks like really cute inside of there. I kind of layer that. Oh, and I've got the weekend thing I need to use too. I think I kind of want to just like, that looks really cute, doesn't it? All right. <laughs> I've got like all these stickers stuck to me, you guys. Just like trying to figure out like how, how I want to lay everything out. Where is my weekend sticker <laughs> too? Because I have to figure out where that's going to go. Um, oh, it's not on this one. Um, ah! Stickers, stickers everywhere. Here it is. All right. Um, I guess I should put that... <laughs> like all these stickers. Maybe I'll layer it over some of these boxes. Um, oh boy. All right. Where's my other? 
It's not going to look good over that one, though. So, like, no, I'm going to put half boxes under it. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I need to put some of this stuff down. I have too many things. Ah, this is, like, <laughs> the part of being indecisive. Like, I don't know where to put all this stuff. We're going to start with a weekend banner. And then I'm going to figure out how I want to place all of that stuff down. All right. I don't know. Does anybody struggle as much as I do with, like, just where you're going to lay down your stickers? Or, like, is it really just me? I <laughs> have no idea. All right. So, I mean, it's, like, really pretty, except, like... Maybe, do I want to just put it at the bottom? I, I don't know. I don't like, I'll tell you the one thing that I'm not crazy about with this planner is like seeing these dotted lines. Like this, it bugs me a little bit over, I don't know if you guys can see, it bugs me a little bit like over here that like these dotted lines are visible. So I don't know. I'm just going to ignore the fact that it bugs me. I honestly don't know how I want to do this. Um, obviously I don't want to cover up that cute heart. Um, where are my washi strips? I don't have enough washi strips to like do something really beautiful or anything. And I can't quite ask you guys for suggestions either. All right. Uh, help help <laughs> and I've never seen like ah, I, I haven't even really seen examples of Emily's kits like how they look either so I don't know if this is like a typical beautiful thing that she does and where she puts it oh my gosh I, it might just have to go kind of like at the bottom or like maybe in between. All right, I'm thoroughly confused with how I want to proceed. This really is is tricky. I wonder. Let's see. What about these little decorative elements? Like, could I kind of put it? No. I just feel like that's gonna like waste so much space. So I want to use it because it's beautiful. But all right. I have a feeling maybe that's going to end up just going at the bottom. So scratch the idea of figuring out the weekend banner because I just don't know. Maybe I'll layer this a little bit and just kind of use it as like a decorative box, like header over here. And just kind of write that I'm going to practice and then maybe I'll fill out I don't know, you guys, it's kind of what it is, what it is now. I'm going to practice in the morning, and then I have Emily. But then in the afternoon, I'm judging the flute club competition. But I'm doing Emily in the morning, so I think, I think I'll put this here. And then I'll put something here. I don't know. Maybe I think I don't think I like the way that that looks, so we're not gonna use that one. Maybe I'll just use like a little, a little checkbox, and maybe we'll just try to write "Teach Emily" above it, and just kind of see how that ends up looking. Um, and then. I'm judging competition, so this totally is crooked. All right, so today's like a really big flute event, so um, I'm going to practice in the morning, and then show up. I wonder if it'll look any better with like permanent marker. I mean, I just, I don't think my white gel pen 
is going to look really good. So I have Emily at 11. Like you honestly, you can't read that at all. So, I mean, I can if I look super close. So yeah, so guys, help me out. Tell me, tell me what to use on a really dark sticker like that because obviously she means for it to be used and I've seen plenty of other shops and their kits have these dark checklist bars too but like I mean I can't I can't see it I do have a white a white pen I just don't think it's really gonna gonna work um so I'm gonna try to do a little bit of block lettering. I do not letter well at all and this looks terrible. <laughs> Have I F C um high school competition. And this is at oh, 2 p.m. Oh my god. I keep, like, I have all of these lettering pens and lettering books and all of these, le like, lettering inspiration. And I have not made the time yet to do it. I really hate how that looks, but oh my goodness. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. My lettering is terrible. Oh my gosh. Why did I do that? Um, oh my God. Can I cover that up on anything? I could, I mean, I could put the washi strip above it, but I need to still write what it is. <laughs> Guys, that looks so bad. Oh, I'm going to leave it for the moment and worry about the rest of the week. I just, I don't like that at all. Okay. And then I don't know what's going on the rest of Sunday. Probably more practice and early bed for the next week and stuff. So, all right. This one, I guess I'm going to use this little checklist for the lessons that I have on Thursday. Um, and... Probably I'm going to practice in the morning, so I guess what I'm going to do is use a half box, and I'm just going to choose on this one, and basically Thursday, tomorrow, is pretty much, you know, kind of same old, same old, like, I'm going to practice. I'm going to go to the post office and I'm going to teach my two lessons. So that's what we're going to put in. I'm actually going to stick a little washi strip underneath this checklist here because I don't like how it's going right into the dotted line there. I just, I have a problem with like these dotted lines. So I'm just going to stick this right here. I think that looks a little bit prettier and then I'll just carry my G over the box. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to put anywhere. I guess I'm going to have things going on. I guess we'll do maybe like a checklist just right at the top of Saturday because I'm sure it's going to be stuff that I need to check off. I can get this to go on and then I'm going to put like a little washi strip between, I think, this one, because I only have like one. All right. So, I don't really know how much I love this way that this is turning out over here. I really like this side. <laughs> like, this side looks really pretty to me. Um... Maybe it's just because, like, I knew everything that was going on and I knew, like, how I needed to have it filled out already. 
Um, yeah, but I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Hey everyone, this is Lisa and I am back for the second time to try to <laughs> finish this plan with me video. The first time um, I filmed the whole video and I didn't realize that my phone had run out of storage space because I've been filming a lot of videos lately and I just need to get more of them off my phone and I guess film shorter videos <laughs> and clear away some space on my phone. But um, so yeah, so I went and when you guys saw this last, I was in a very frustrated place picking up all of the stickers on this page and moving them around a gazillion times because I could not figure out how I wanted to lay this the second half of the week out. Like the first half of the week went really smoothly and maybe that's because it had already happened and I knew what needed to go in there so like there was like, I kind of knew just, like, where things needed to go. Um, this is why I tend to plan as I go and not, like, ahead of time too much. Because I'm like, I don't really know what's going on. All I know is that I need to be practicing my flute a lot. And I have less teaching than usual um, on Friday because I'm not at the college. So, like, the way that I do my Friday... I usually am like really regular with that and that was changed up and just like using like the flute piggy sticker every single day was a lot for me this week like I never actually even though like I do flute stuff every day it's really rare that I actually like put the sticker on every single day in my planner because they it tends to go in the same place and then I just think it's like a lot of like flute playing pig everywhere and I don't know so I was really struggling like trying to figure out because like I didn't have like a lot of other at least not a lot of other set things going on that needed to be filled in and the only other set things happening still involved the flute like judging the competition on Sunday involves the flute and like like everything else like involved the flute so um I guess that's really it I'm just teaching and practicing and judging flute competitions this week so yeah so I was just struggling like where to put everything and not knowing really what else is going on and obviously we got um inches and inches of snow today so I don't know what the weather report is for the rest of the week so I have no idea if like the snow is over or you know if other things are going to get moved around too so yeah so basically when my video got cut off there was probably still another like 20 or 25 minutes of me like rearranging everything on this page so trust me that you guys did not miss anything and it's probably better that that just got cut off than I sit there and try to edit it because I was getting really annoyed with myself so <laughs> um yeah, but then I um, I consulted my March monthly spread um, to see, like, what kind of wacky holidays, just for, like, some other things to put in that was not anything to do with the flute. So um, I was excited that I could use the bagpipe sticker again, especially because he is the perfect shade of green to coordinate with this, like green box over here that just to me really sticks out with like all the other like purple because I mean there's green everywhere but like this all the other stickers are like mostly like the green is just like little touches of it and there's like this one like box it's like totally green and I just kind of struggled like I didn't know where I wanted to put it um and then I finally settled on putting the hello weekend banner at the bottom um Mostly because I could just couldn't figure out a better place to put it. Um, so yeah, so I put International Bagpipe Day on Saturday. And then um, Friday morning, or Friday all day, is Panic Day. So I went ahead and just marked that. I'm sure that I'm going to be panicking about 
things like my job interview at some point on Friday. So yeah, so I put him there. So yeah, I, I'm sure that as I have other things going on, I'll try to get a wider variety of decorative sticker in to kind of break up all the flute stuff happening. Um, but for now, um, I'm leaving it at this because I have no idea what else is going on. So, um, I just wanted to show you guys what stickers from the kit I still have left over. Um, so I have a smattering, actually most of the, the little decorative stickers are left over along with the canceled sticker. Um, and I have just these three really thin strips of washi. Um, but I do have all of these headers because like normally I will use the today and the to do headers, but I didn't use any of the to do list headers this time at all. So I have seven of those. I could, I think, and then I just, I just have like this one checklist box, but I think somewhere like whether it's in like the happy planner books or like some other just functional stickers that I have I'm sure that I can come up with like checklists in this color scheme um and probably like some other half boxes and quarter boxes and stuff and I can probably I think I probably have enough here um to make another weekly spread out of it um, probably there would be a lot more white space, you know, so, but I think that, you know, between this amount of decorative sticker and just having all of the headers and, I mean, I don't really tend to use the icons because I, I usually just use like the, the pigs and characters instead of icons. But I mean, I think between the, the headers and those decorative stickers, if I were to be able to find some boxes and checklists like in this orchid color then I bet you I could put together like a whole other week using that so yeah so I mean I had a good amount left over um so that's it that is finally this week all planned out sort of with you know the exception of what I still don't know um and even though I did not start planning this week to today I still managed to at least have my midweek filled out on time. Um, I could probably just put that I'm not going to work out today because I don't really see that happening. It's like 11 at night, I think. So I'm going to go practice some more now and edit some videos so that I can get some stuff up on the channel for you guys before I go to bed. So yeah, um, as always, be sure to join our Facebook group. We are This Little Piggy Plans. You can just search the group section of Facebook and find us over there. Um, follow us on Instagram. That's where I post my filled in planner spreads midweek and then the end of the week and the full week. So you guys will be able to see this um, all finished up over on Instagram. And please subscribe to this channel. Um, I will try to have my plan with me's up in advance or at the right at the start of the week rather than midway through, but honestly, I'll do the best I can with that because I, I have the best of intentions, but suffer a bit with the follow through of actually planning on time. So I will try because I actually like having it done early it's better for me too. So I guess that is it for this week's plan with me. I hope you like it. I think it's really pretty and that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.